fellow beloved saints of God on this very special day, a day in which we uh, remember those who have given their lives in love of this country and in hope and pursuit of freedom. Uh, I welcome you into this time of devotional as we do celebrate together this Memorial Day. We begin with prayer. On this Memorial Day, O Lord, I prayerfully honor the sacrifice that so many throughout our history have made for the men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice and for their families who have had to carry on without them. Today, I remember a sacrifice made and a debt that I cannot repay. Today, I pray for the God of heaven to bless the families of those who have lost loved ones while serving our cherished nation as well as our allies. And I pray that you, O Lord, would bless and comfort the walking wounded who are still with us and bless their families as well. Heavenly Father, as our nation pauses today, to remember those in the military who have given their lives for the freedoms that we enjoy. We pray that you would have us all look to you for strength, for comfort, and for guidance. Most of all, we pray that you would turn the hearts of all, the military and civilian, that you would turn all our hearts to your holy word where we find the true peace for our souls a peace that surpasses all understanding. Move us to know, to take hold, and to treasure your saving grace. In the name of Jesus, our Savior and your beloved Son, who alone gives us this peace and hope for eternity, we pray. Amen. It is now my distinct privilege to introduce you to a friend of mine and a colleague U.S. Air Force Chaplain Matt Dobbins. I got to know Matt personally when he was an ELCA pastor at a sister congregation when we both were serving in the greater Phoenix metro area. Matt graduated from Luther Seminary where I too graduated, only he was a couple years after me. He was then ordained into the ELCA, entered into congregational pastoral ministry, and then received God's call a few years later to join the Air Force as a chaplain, where he enjoys two of his passions, flying and serving God. I asked him if he would be willing to bring to us on this Memorial Day a very special devotion for you. Well, greetings, Christ Lutheran Church. I am Chaplain Matt Dobbins. I'm an ordained ELCA pastor who is currently serving uh, in the United States Air Force as a chaplain. Uh, pastor Eric asked me to make this video uh, just to send our greetings from Eglin Air Force Base and the brothers and sisters of the faith here and uh, as, as a way of, of uh, showing the ways that we are connected uh, in this journey of faith together. And so uh, I want to let you know, uh, Pastor Eric and I, years ago, uh, had to do some continuing education together. Uh, we were doing some first call continuing education, and um, I'll tell you, you have a really good past. Uh, some cherished, wonderful times in congregational ministry with them. Currently, I serve as a chaplain uh, at Eglin Air Force Base, the 96th Test Wing, and the 96th Maintenance Group. So this is my office, and I get to hang out with the folks that are uh, taking care of and maintaining uh, these uh, these wonderful jets uh, and the mission that we have as part of the United States Air Force. And so as a chaplain, we do all sorts of stuff. We become the, the visible presence of the holy uh, as people are at work and uh, are serving their country in the United States military. And so as I go out throughout my day, um, I hang out with people as they're working and fixing jets. Uh, I hear all sorts of the ups and downs of life, just like your pastor would. And uh, I preside at the sacraments and in worship as we gather together uh, as a community of faith in, in the military. And so as we gather around Memorial Day, um, there's, there was uh, something that came to mind. Uh, and it, it's an idea that I think has applications in a ton of different, uh, a ton of different avenues. Uh, that I am better because
because people before me have done all sorts of things to prepare the way for them. And so if we look at Memorial Day and we look at the men and women who have served and have died for their country, we are all better because of their service. But in the same way, there are all sorts of people who have paved the way in chaplaincy and in the faith for me um, and have prepared the way so that life is a little bit easier or that I am a little bit better um, all along the way. And so I think that that, that works uh, as we remember Memorial Day to recognize that we are um, interconnected that my life and the service that I give is just as important uh, as the service you give. But it connects us in a way that makes the world a better place. And so um, it becomes an interesting idea to play around with. That your life and your service and what you do day in and day out, uh, no matter where you're at in life, makes a difference for the people around you perhaps even for people on the complete other side of the country. And so um, as we gather uh, around Memorial Day and we remember the sacrifice that so many have made, um, I give you greetings from the Eglin Air Force Base, from the ELCA Office of uh, Ch Federal Chaplaincy, and from uh, the brothers and sisters on this journey of faith with each of us uh, throughout the world. And so blessings. Thank you.
and now receive a blessing as we are again commissioned back into the world. May the Lord Almighty guard and guide you. May Christ, our blessed Redeemer, be the light in your life that brightens your journey. And may the Holy Spirit forever uphold and keep you in God's saving grace as you minister in the world as Jesus' disciples. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.